14th Asia Super Yacht Rendezvous was replete with some of the biggest and most beautiful yachts Kata Bay has ever seen. Phuket is a fun place, Thailand's a fun place, and what we're trying to achieve with this regatta is people have these magnificent vessels, but they want to have fun on them, and that's what we're trying to promote with this event. in celebrating the super yacht lifestyle and uh, it's all about having um, a lot of joy in sailing and trying to uh, make sure that people that are engaged with that uh, really uh, bring that to this region. Host sponsor Cata Rocks seemed equally impressed with the view from their pool deck. I think super yachts and cataracts are a perfect mix uh, because we've got the, these buildings that look very much like super yachts for a start. Wraparound windows, sleek louvers, uh, very futuristic design. Obviously we're also in a, this prime oceanfront location with our, our private pontoon as well. And it's a perfect anchorage for super yachts. They can come in, use our facilities, use the spa, the gym, the restaurant. And it's very discreet. We're, we're already getting a number of these super yacht owners coming in and using it because they can do it very, very privately. We are just perfectly aligned with the super yacht lifestyle. So what better way to, um, to do co-branding, to get our lifestyle out there, than to have the super yacht rendezvous and have some of the greatest boats in the region come and visit us. With our property being uh, a luxury property uh, right here on the seafront and, and with the design element uh, which you can see around the property has that very nautical super yacht look to it. Um, it was, it was uh, the perfect match to, to work with the Asia Super Yacht Rendezvous and, and host them here at Cata Rocks. So let's have a look around a few of these magnificent craft, and we start with the biggest first, Titania. Named after Shakespeare's Queen of the Fairies, this 73 meter Lursen was launched in 2006. The boat offers the highest level of service possible. You know, it's a roaming hotel uh, for 12 guests, uh, 20 staff, so yeah, the highest level of service possible. The owner had a pre-existing um, kind of wish to come out here and he hasn't sailed Asia before. Traditionally he's been sort of the Mediterranean and then also the Caribbean. So Asia was um, a new adventure for him. Really the focus is on the owner using the boat, um, seeing all of these new amazing places that we have around here and then also um, exploring the charter market and, and hopefully having a very good charter season as well. We'll be based in Phuket. We have some trips planned here um, all the way through to March. So we'll be around Phuket, Myanmar, Malaysia, our base is Phuket. Another interesting super yacht at the rendezvous was Northern Sun. Originally launched in 1976 by the Japanese National Fisheries Institute, Northern Sun has a potential range of 25,000 nautical miles and a specially strengthened hull to combat damage when ploughing through ice. Obviously not much need for a superpower like that around Phuket, but it may come in handy should another local speedboat go astray. Having completed her research work, the yacht received a comprehensive refit in 2007 by HYS in the Philippines. That turned her into the luxurious creature you now see. Also at the rendezvous was the Indonesian Pinisi Sri Datu Bua. Based on the centuries-old classic trading boat design, Datu Boa is the second Panisi built by Patty Siri, her first being the impressive Sila Lona. Ten years ago exactly, her older sister Sila Lona made her first appearance in, in uh, Phuket. And Datu Boa is smaller than Sila Lona, designed with three very, very comfortable guest cabins for smaller groups like couples and families, small families. And she's been very, very successful and I'm happy to say that she was built by the same group of built boat, boat builders that built Cidolona. And so the things that we learned in Cidolona we were able to even improve on in Datibua. So Phuket's 8 degrees north, Bali's 8 degrees south, so there's an absolutely opposite weather system. 
and so we tend to travel across the, the Indonesian, the entire Indonesian archipelago, visiting traditional villages and um, celebrating ceremonies, and of course diving in Raja Ampat. But when the weather starts to go a little off in Indonesia, then we come around to Phuket, Myanmar, and the Andaman Islands of India. There was plenty of fun to be had at this year's Super Yacht Rendezvous, but behind it all, there's a much bigger goal for the organizers and all involved. Phuket now offers a multitude of services. Number one, there's berthing for the yachts. So rather than sitting at anchor, when, I fir when we first started doing this, all the boats used to sit at anchor in Patong Bay. Now there's two world-class marinas that are on the island, and they can actually take a boat of 150 meters in length which is quite a big boat. So the facilities now are definitely um, gaining momentum. And with all the high class resorts like Kata Rocks, you're seeing a growth in things like provisioning, supplies. It's, it's all starting to happen for the yachts here. The Asian region is becoming more and more interesting. We see the first elements of uh, interest coming from this region. We've been supporting the show, for instance, already for 14 years since its exi existence. And now we see slowly the changes that are coming to this region. You see a lot more boats uh, coming into Phuket, but also along the coastlines of several other Asian regions, uh, being the southern, southern part of, uh, of China, being in Hong Kong, being uh, here, uh, Indonesia. So it's, uh, it's becoming a, a slowly but surely a popular destination. The owners are deciding that, you know, with their vessel, you know, their yacht, rather than just cruising around Phuket, Thailand, why don't we go around the world a couple of times? Um, before that used to be quite an adventurous thing, and it still is, but now with the world getting smaller and internet being everywhere, lots more owners are trying to do that. <laughs>